Hello and welcome to part 5 of the truck tutorial. In this part of the video we're going to look at getting more uh, details model on the truck where we really did sort of like a rough outline before. We're going to go in a little bit further like you know using a microscope and getting some of those details uh, more refined. What I want to do first before we get into the details I think is I want to take this um, what I've been calling the air scowl. I guess it's really an air deflector. It's really part of the sleeper cab on a semi truck. But I want to go ahead and make this a separate piece. So I'm going to go into this view here and just, I'm just going to break it away from the actual truck. And I'm doing this because we're going to be looking at the details on the cab and everything and I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get confused with this being in the way. So um, in looking at this, we see that, you know, I made this, this line here to pretty much conform to the top of this thing, but really the, uh, there's another part of the chassis down here. So I need to create that line too. So we need to do a little bit more detailing there. So I'm just going to tab in that mode and I'm doing my edge loop control R and I'm just going to make that edge loop there about right there and luckily it lines up with the bottom of the the door part or the cab part here which is nice um, probably would have lined up with this light right here we can go ahead and create an edge loop there though not a problem and also as you can see there's this uh, kind of a the part that lifts up here is right here so we need to let's go ahead and put an edge loop there just so we'll have that so that kind of enables us to get rid of this right here so I'm going to go into face mode and just select those faces and X out those faces okay and let's go ahead and select this entire air deflector slash sleeper cab here. Make sure I got all of it. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. So I'm just going to choose P to make it a, a separate part. And if I go into my solid mode here, solid view, and we can see what we have. So right now, I don't even want to see this air deflector, so I'm just going to H hide it. So we can just see what we're working with on the truck itself. Actually, it looks like I missed uh, probably this part of the, the cab. Let me Alt H bring that back and take a look. Yep, sure did. I tell you what, I'm going to add that in. I was going to just add that to it, but I'm not going to do that. I can add that later. So I'm just going to hide this again and go in edit mode and just delete these faces so they'll be out of the way. Now I want to go ahead and add the missing faces here. So I'll just extrude the side of this here. If I can. So basically everything I just did, I have to redo. But luckily it's easy. And why isn't that connecting? Take a look real quick. Clipping is not turned on on the mirror. Turn that on. Go back here. There we go. Okay, so now we just need to go in, fill in the faces again. Well, 
Well, if nothing else, it's good practice, right? Okay, so there we go. Okay, so now to continue on with our details, what we're going to do is we're going to look at some of the major lines that we're seeing that we didn't get before, like, uh, say, for example, the outline of the window, the door, uh, this dark line here in the middle, um, things like that. I mean, we have the basic outline of the truck, but we don't have the internal line. So we're going to look at a little bit on the, we're going to look a little bit on those and get a little bit more detail on them. Um, this toolbox or whatever it happens to be, um, probably what I'll end up doing with this is making it also a separate part. But I'm just going to leave it as is for right now, and we'll get into that later. So let's just look at kind of on the horizontal again on the items that we didn't get. Um, I can see that the drawing's a little bit off because I had to swap my pictures around, but that's okay. It's pretty close. So we already did kind of the, um, the inset of the um, light fixture here, headlight fixture. So just looking at this I see there's kind of a probably a, where this fender kind of comes out a little bit so I'm going to do a control R there just bring that down about right there and um, up here we really have that line for that we got the hood uh, we need this bottom part of the window so I'm going to come over here and Oh, actually, we do have a line there. Never mind. Escape out of that. But because it's it's really it's really on the same line as that hood, so that's going to be brought down a little bit. But we need the top part, so create that. Need this line here, so we'll put one there for that. Okay. Uh, anything else horizontal? We need. Um, basically this part right here um yeah probably going to be do us we're probably going to do a separate part for that as well so we can leave that alone these probably the mud flaps um that'll be a separate part and this will be a separate part where the the uh, trailer hooks on to the to the main truck here um so I guess that's all for the horizontal. Let's look at the vertical a little bit. So we have what looks like something here next to the headlight. I guess that's probably where it turns in a little bit. Um, might be able to use this part of the line for that, but really this is going to be for the part of the fender. So I'm going to go ahead and put in a uh, another edge loop right here just in case we need that. Um, definitely need it for the edge of that light anyway and we need one here also for the light so I'm going to bring that in there kind of average out that angle Oops. move the cursor back to the center okay alright and looks like something going on right here but I don't know I don't think that's, I guess that's probably where it curves in on the front part of the, the hood, but I'm going to leave that alone for right now. Um, we have this this line right here is kind of, um, I guess it could be considered either the window or the metal part of the cab. I'm going to leave it as the part of the window, and I'm going to make another one and make it kind of where that metal piece would be. We need another one over here where the window starts. Kind of like right there. Same thing for this one. Right there. And um, also going to need a line here for the or an edge for the door. So something like that. Uh, looking down here, I think we're pretty much okay here. We're actually, we need one like right here for this where it kind of bends a little bit. 
and okay so those are the like uh, the main lines that we see on the inside of the model now what we need to do is we need to add a few lines to allow us to make the uh, curves and things that we need to make like uh, for example when we make this wheel wheel you know we can take this vertex that's going to be right here and just kind of pull it over a little bit and we can pull this one over but we need a, a couple of more lines in there just to make sure that it's going to be smoothed correctly and same thing in some other places so I don't want to go get too crazy with adding in um, edges because it's just going to add more and more geometry and once we go and we add a subsurf to this um, it's just going to you know multiply all those lines so we don't want to get too crazy with adding geometry but we do need a little bit more so I'm just going to make, create an edge loop right here which is going to be I think I'll just make one for the center I'm not going to make two right now or am I actually I need uh, there's a kind of a pretty good curve there and there's going to be one row over here so yeah I'll go ahead and make two let me undo that Okay, so scale Y. So something like that. So we can end up using these lines to kind of smooth out the hood as well and things like that. Um, up here, right now, I'm just going to add the one right there. I don't really need anything here yet, I don't think. And looking at what this is doing here, where it's going to curve over. Let's see what I got here. Kind of hard to see some of this stuff. Okay, so I don't really have a curve here. I can pull these down. Is that going to work for me? Yeah, that'll probably work. So I can, I don't need anything here yet. I don't think I do. Um, right here. Yeah, might need something there. Go ahead and add something right there. Just looking at how this fender kind of curves up like that. Okay, so let's uh, go to the front view and see what we have here as well as far as the curves and everything. Okay, just looking at the inside of things again, at the uh, lines, we see we have something here where the radiators going to be. So I'm just going to create an edge loop kind of right there. See that will allow us to pull these these vertices over to create this hopefully this shape. And this top line is really the top of the hood so we need something at the very edge of the hood and I think we're going to have that once we move these around a little bit so I don't, eh, let me take a look, yeah, I don't think I want to really add something here just yet. Um, it does look like we need something, actually I do need something here. I need the, um, where this radiator is going to start, so just add that in there, one at the bottom as well. We got the bottom of this brake here, and then the bumper looks like we need something there. So right about there. And there's also an indention in that bumper or something there, so we need a line there. Okay, and for the front of this, I don't think we need that because it may be this part of this here. Anyway, I'm going to leave it alone right now. Um, this curve here, I think we have enough geometry to, to move that over to where it needs to be. Okay, so what are we missing here? We may want to add some 
more internal detail like uh, whatever these are, these lights or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and add these. I feel like I'm adding too much geometry here, but I guess we could always delete stuff if we need to. Okay, so that's just the outline of these things here. I'm going to leave this part here as it is right now. It's really, as you can tell, I mean, a lot of the stuff, you have to really look at the real truck pictures to see what it is and how it's going to fit together because for all I know, these are not lights. Maybe they're, you know, pieces that are sticking out or at least these on the lower bumper here. Uh, if we put a tag on there, of course, it's going to be separate. Okay, so I think for right now, of course, it looks pretty much the same because all we did is we added the um, geometry, the extra internal geometry. And um, I saved this as a version 5, by the way, just to make sure that it's in line with the uh, number of the tutorials. So now, I mean, um, if we go to solid view, this is what we have right now, and it looks pretty funky the way it is. But if you want to do something real quick, if you're this is like your first time modeling or, you know, you haven't done this before, then what you can do is kind of a little bit of a fun thing <laughs> just to check is um, go to your add modifiers you know make sure your model selected add modifier and add a subdivision surface and then you can add uh, you know bump it up two views and then you can kind of see that it looks more like a truck not quite there but it looks a little bit more than you know the blocky thing that we had and if you use your T view you can smooth it if you like but you can tell, let me go into side view as well, you can tell that these pieces are, you know, they're, they're going to be kind of rounded and all that good stuff. So don't panic. Um, as we move along and do this, it'll look more and more like a truck. We're just basically chipping away at the truck, chipping away everything that doesn't look like the truck that we want to make. So I'm going to go back to flat view, kill the subsurf, go back to where we at, where where we were at. So now that finishes the details of the blocking in, or, um, on, at least as far as that goes. And then in the next tutorial, next part of the tutorial, what we're going to do is we're going to start moving these vertices to conform to the actual shape of the truck. So it'll start looking a lot more like a truck, hopefully, when we're done. So hope you're enjoying this, and I'll see you in the next segment.